Hi, this is Ira Krakow. The name of this video is Blender 2.49a Grass with Particles Tutorial. This tutorial is based on Super 3 Boys tutorial number 16, Grass with Particles, in which he explains in a clear, simple way how to make grass using the particle system in Blender. Unfortunately, the developers rewrote Blender's particle system in Windows 2.46 even changing the terminology, grass now equals hair, making Super 3 Boys tutorial hard to follow. He mentions some of the changes in tutorial number 26. I'm using the current version, which is 2.49a, which hopefully will make it easier for you to make grass. By the way, this is the grass you might find in a park or a lawn, not any other kind. Since it's virtual grass, you don't have to mow it, or if you want, you can make it wild and just keep it that way. I'll start with some PowerPoint slides that describe the basic recipe for grass, the changes from 2.45, and the settings for my grass render. Afterwards, you can watch as I make grass from scratch. Here's the basic grass recipe that Super 3 Boy followed. First, delete the default cube, then create a plane, size the plane to three times its original size, and then add a particle system to the plane. In his version of Blender, it was, it was called static. Now it's called hair. Then play with the parameters until you get the get grass effect that you like. Texture the grass particles. Duplicate the plane and rotate it 90 degrees for a richer grass feel. Then duplicate the plane again and remove the particle system from it so the plane becomes the ground. Then texture the ground. The idea is perhaps you want the ground to look a little bit different than the plane. And in this render, the ground is going to be brown and the grass will be green. And then render, which is F12. Now some changes in 2.49a. The particles is now a separate subcontext. So previously you got to the particle system via the physics button. And there were only two buttons, object and physics. Now there are three buttons, object, physics, and particles. There's now a drop-down called Type of Particle System, which defaults to Emitter. In the older system of Blender, grass was considered a static particle. No more. Now grass is really hair, long as, as well as fur, and hair is everything. So there's no Particle Motion tab anymore. The settings are either in the Particle System or the Physics tabs. And in both, only the grass itself, not the plane, renders. However, there's a new button which lets you render the emitter plane as well. It's, the button's called emitter. And this works if you want the ground to have the same texture and color and so forth as the grass. Now here are the settings I used on my render for grass material. So the color is R, R0, G.6, and B0. So it's a little toned down green. And in the render pipeline there's a strands filter. And we'll start at 1.2 and end at 1.25. So strands affects the relative thickness at the bottom and the top. You can play with those. The particle type is hair, as I mentioned. And I use 4,000 particles, and you can change that as well. And emit random and even to kind of give it a little more realistic feel. And as far as emissions, set the normal at 0 0.04, the random at 0 0.05, and for a little bit of an angle, we, I set the Z acceleration to negative 0 0.01. And for the ground, the, we set the red at 0.594, the green at 0.474, and the blue at 0. We're going to start by deleting the default cube. So that's X, and then erase, confirm it. Now we're going to add a plane, space add mesh plane. And then we're going to scale it up. That's uh, S3. So we'll have it three times the original size. Now we're going to go into the object buttons. The object button. And we click on it. And we go to the particle button. And we're going to add a new particle system. And we're going to change the type from emitter, which is a default, to hair, which is for static particles. We're now going to go over to set the amount, the number of grass strands to 4,000. We're going to emit from random and even. Now we'll go into the physics 
panel and we're going to set the normal to 0 0.04, the random to 0 0.05. And we have something that sort of looks like grass, except it's black and white. So we go into the material buttons. We're going to add a material. And we're going to set the RGB, the, the green, to 0.6. And the red and the blue will both go down to 0. So it's kind of a, a lighter shade of green. We're going to render it. So you'll see we have some green grass. It's just the grass strands that render, not the, not the emitter plane. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy first. So we do a shift D, make a copy of the plane. You can't really see it because the plane's on top of each other. Then we move it and you can kind of see it. So now we have two copies of the plane. Since one is rotated and the grass is kind of at different levels, you have a little bit of a, you know, a richer grass. So you can see when you when we render it, it's a little it's a little richer type of grass. And now we're going to do yet a third rotate. So we'll have three planes, but this third plane is going to be the ground. And I'll show you this by splitting the area. And on the right part of the uh, on the right window, we'll do the outliner. So you'll see this plane plane dot zero zero one and plane dot zero zero two. So plane dot zero zero two is going to be the ground, and it's going to be brown. And what we what we're going to want to do is first delete the particle system for the third plane because we don't need it. It's it's going to be just the ground without the particles. Then we go into single use. We make it single user by clicking on the number and then making it single user, and then we set the color. We make the red 0.594, the green 0.474. We're going to extrude the plane down a little bit, so it's like a little platform, a little brown platform for the um, for the grass. So you you know, kind of getting the idea of what kind of things you could do, and there's the render.